six state-of-the-art stations, five kilometers of meticulously bored tunnels, one elevated guideway. These are all the ingredients for Canada's biggest underground project. Vancouver's new $2 billion subway line is a transformative project set to reshape one of Canada's largest cities, and they invited two big and strong ladies to help them succeed in this megalomaniac project. As Vancouver gears up for a major expansion amid a housing crisis, this ambitious underground construction is poised to become the city's lifeline. Join us for an exclusive peek underground to see how this mega project is paving the way for Vancouver's future. Vancouver is undertaking a massive infrastructure project to address its growing pains. The city's population is projected to surge by 1 million new residents by 2050, putting immense pressure on housing and transportation. To meet this challenge head on, a new $2 billion subway line is under construction, stretching from VCC Clark to Great Northern Way, with plans for further expansion. This state-of-the-art transit system promises to kickstart a new era of urban development. With six new underground stations and an elevated guideway, the subway line will lay the groundwork for a whole new downtown area in Vancouver and it's needed because Vancouver got selected as one of the most livable cities on Earth. Why? Well, for one thing, you just need to look at it. Surrounded by mountains, the ocean, and stunning urban parks, if you like a city with a bit of scenery, then this is for you. But if you want to make a home here and you're not blessed with deep pockets or a winning lottery ticket, good luck finding a property right now. The availability and cost of housing continues to be one of the most pressing issues in our country. It's currently a top priority to build as much housing as quickly as possible, as they are expecting one million extra people to be here by 2050, requiring half a million more homes and jobs. The Broadway Corridor is the second largest employment area in British Columbia, but housing is mostly low density and there's not enough office space to meet demand. So the provincial government is planning to make this section of the city a whole lot taller, adding tens of thousands of new homes and jobs across nearly 500 blocks. The plan is to add 30,000 new homes along this Vancouver corridor over the next 30 years. Well, I think it's going to be a little bit of a hassle for a number of years, but I think it's just an upgrade to the community in the long run. But first, they need to build this incredible construction project that's now making headway beneath the surface, the new Broadway subway, set to cost 2.8 billion Canadian dollars, or 2.1 billion US dollars. It's a major extension of the SkyTrain light rail system, which has been in operation since the mid-1980s. When complete, it won't just ease pressure on the overcrowded bus network that many people use to get around. It'll also act as the catalyst for all the high-rise construction above ground. Yes, none of it will happen until the subway is up and running. So, what exactly is going into this new project? Well, it consists of six new underground stations, five kilometers of twin board tunnels and an elevated guideway, or viaduct, joining the new line to the existing infrastructure. This 700 meter new connection is made up of 21 pillars and more than 100 concrete beams, each one 30 meters long and weighing almost 40 tons. This is what we identify as a megalomanic project, and we have a rare opportunity to witness a city's transformation from the ground up, literally. The Broadway subway project is no small project, with several challenges the engineers needs to overcome. 
One of the most challenging tasks is tunneling through hard rock, a process that can be quite a grind, literally. To accomplish this, thousands of tunnel lining rings must be installed behind the tunnel boring machines, TBMs, as they chew through the unyielding stone. Meet the two ladies I mentioned in the intro, Phyllis and Elsie. These ladies are two 150-meter-long, 6-meter-diameter TBMs tasked with this megalomanic endeavor. These gigantic machines are designed and crafted in Germany and shipped to Canada in pieces, where they are assembled on site. As they burrow through the earth, they place tunnel lining segments behind them, forming complete rings that propel the machines forward. On a good day, Phyllis and Elsie can cover up to 18 meters, but it's not always smooth sailing. At one point, Phyllis had to dig down to a staggering depth of 22 meters to pass beneath the existing Canada Line subway tunnel. Minimizing disruptions to the bustling city above is another crucial aspect of the construction. To keep traffic flowing, temporary decks are built along Broadway, ensuring that half of the street remains open to vehicles. This involves drilling 20 meter deep holes for support columns, excavating the road, and placing girders and deck panels. It's a delicate dance of precision and coordination. The tunnel lining segments, the unsung heroes of the project, are transported to the TBMs by specialized vehicles. There, they are lifted by cranes, placed on conveyor belts and assembled into complete rings, forming the tunnel's sturdy walls. To further reduce the impact on the city, Dedicated work areas and storage spaces have been established next to the station sites. As Phyllis and Elsie continue their underground journey 24 7 they come closer to their final destination at Cypress Street. When reached, they will be carefully dismantled and removed, and is their job complete? They will be sold to the highest bidder, so if you are interested in a TBM, please add it in the comments below. But their legacy will live on in the form of a cutting-edge transit system that will shape Vancouver's future. While the tunnels are undoubtedly impressive, they are just one piece of the puzzle. The six new underground stations promise to be equally remarkable, each designed to enhance the commuter experience like never before. What cutting-edge features and safety measures will these stations boast? Stay tuned to find out. The six new underground stations of the Broadway subway project are set to revolutionize the commuting experience in Vancouver. They are Great Northern Way Emily Carr, Mount Pleasant, Broadway City Hall, Oak VGH, South Granville, and Arbutus. All new stations have been designed with the modern commuter in mind. Each station boasts a unique array of features aimed at enhancing accessibility, convenience, and safety. At the heart of the project is the Broadway City Hall Station, which will offer seamless connectivity between the Millennium and Canada lines. Three strategically placed paths will provide direct access to the Millennium Line from the fare gates and both northbound and southbound Canada Line platforms, making transfers a breeze. Accessibility is a top priority in the design of these underground marvels. Elevators and ramps will be installed to assist passengers with mobility challenges, ensuring that every corner of the stations is easily reachable. Cyclists will also benefit from the inclusion of bike parkades at Great Northern Way and Arbutus stations, promoting multimodal transportation and integrating with major cycling routes like the Central Valley Greenway and Arbutus Greenway. Passenger safety is paramount, and the new stations will be equipped with cutting-edge technology to ensure a secure environment. 
advanced surveillance systems, emergency communication devices, and robust fire safety protocols will be implemented to provide peace of mind for commuters. As the Broadway subway stations take shape beneath the city streets, they promise to redefine the way Vancouverites navigate their urban landscape. But how will this new subterranean network integrate with the city's existing transit infrastructure? The answer lies in a carefully orchestrated plan to create a seamless, multimodal transportation system that will transform daily commuting in Vancouver. 